Hello, welcome to Mile High 4. What's up everyone? Hello everyone, good morning. 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 <clears throat> I have an announcement to make of something important to I'd like everybody coming to your seats. People standing in the back actually find a seat. Come on, don't be afraid. All those standing in the back, come on and have a seat. Prior to our next speaker, um, our profession had a quite a significant loss this year in one of our greatest contributors to our philosophy um, with the loss of Dr. Andy Roberts, who is loved by many, and his name has come up multiple times during our philosophy sessions. Um, his wife, we talked to her, if you could, she could share something for our event, and she put together a brief video of his life. And so we're going to play that brief video. So if everybody can, uh, if Joe, if you can put that up. And we want to thank Andy Roberts for all that he gave the chiropractic profession. And Joel's going to play this that his wife prepared um, because of the everybody, all your donations to his cause.
lost a, uh, someone who contributed incredibly, and so did this family. Um, I'd like to ask Dr. Barry Hobbs, as well as all the Art of the Specific family, to come up here, please. If everybody's associated with the Art of the Specific, please come up on stage. And the Specific Centers. So, every year we give out a Mile High Vision Award and this year, we want to give that Mile High Vision Award to Dr. Andy Roberts. And because we know the Art of Specific Family is gonna be carrying on his vision. And Gina wrote a speech, Gina Roberts wrote a few words to say and wanted Dr. Barry Hopps to share them. So first, um, before he shares that, I wanna take a quick picture with this, with the whole family here. Gina asked that uh, Dr. Hobbs take this back to her family for him, and she was really grateful that we were doing that. So thank you, Dr. Barry Hobbs. On behalf of the Roberts family, we are honored that Andy has given this award. We know that many of you here tonight were considered Andy's extended family. As his wife, I was able to see many of the behind-the-scenes work that Andy did during our 18 years of marriage. One of the things I really want to relay to each of you here is that Andy will continue to live through each of us. He wanted to plant that seed of thought, that seed of curiosity, into our thinking. If he accomplished that, then he knew that the work that was started by B.J. Palmer and continued with so many amazing chiropractors throughout the years would not die. <clears throat> he saw that there had been such a shift in our profession and that saddened him and at times angered him. He stood for that something that B.J. Palmer told us to do. Andy and I both then turned with Dr. Crowder and he would see how frustrated I would be at times because Dr. Crowder had to break down each one of us in turns and strip us of the school curriculum in order to make us think like a real chiropractor should. I had a real difficult time with that and almost gave up on the profession altogether. And he saw it as a challenge and he loved it. He took that style of teaching and carried it on those he worked with, including me. For some people, Andy, I'm sure, was perceived as annoying and many times argumentative with them, but I want to tell you that he only did that to bring out the best in each of us. If he saw potential in you, then he pestered you. If he didn't see potential, he simply didn't engage in conversation. That's just how he was. So if you were one of those that he would challenge quite frequently, and you know who you are, it was because he truly cared about the message you were given, and he cared about you. So today, as you were all here sharing this time together and listening to these fantastic speakers, Andy is living in each one of us. Where he is, we will all find ourselves at one point in our lives. He loved that he did. He loved what he did. He loved sharing chiropractic with others. But he especially felt close to many of you. This award should be shared with all of you. I ask that each of you that were Andy's extended family to please rise and know that because of you, he was given this award. You will let him share his passion and love for chiropractic with you. Please carry on and allow that seed to grow within you so that someday you can pass that seed on to others. We're so sorry we couldn't be here to celebrate with you this weekend. Please know that we are sending our love and appreciate, and appreciate all the prayers and support we have given our family. We cannot do it alone, but somehow Andy left us a tribe to take care of us. 
I thank him daily for these blessings. Thank you, the Roberts family. Thank you all. Joe Kinch.